writing the mail and the sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little package in the mail. This is an accessory for one of the retro computers I've been playing with later. So lately, so uh, fellow press play on tape podcast member Aaron has been um, going through the various Apple II machines he had um, since we did the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery um, demo because uh, he blew a power supply in that one. So he's been fixing them and he's been getting out other machines and playing with them. And I have been, you know, watching his posts and I finally decided to get out my Apple IIe Platinum that I've had for quite some time and not really played with. Um, I got it out and the drive controller card I've had sitting around for ages, I plugged that into a physical floppy drive that I have and it worked. I was amazed. Um, and um, then I also got a little device called a booty. I believe I showed that in my... Um, um, channel update video for last month, so I'll put that in hand to play, but really to play the games with keys is not much fun. So in this box is a joystick that will work both with um, Apple IIs plus also classic IBM PCs with a, a game port. So it's got a nice long cord and it's got the two different connectors. So you've got the smaller one which I think's for the Apple and the larger one which is for the IBM PC. Um, it's an analog joystick, of course. Feels all right. I hope, hopefully, it works. I mean, it wasn't very much money. I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on one of these sort of things. And you've got a switch on the bottom to select between Apple II and IBM. And then you have um, two on and off switches down on the bottom, which I'm not sure what they do. Um, we have a button on top and buttons here as well. So. What I'll do is I'll plug it into the Apple II. I'll see if I can capture the video out of the Apple II. I haven't actually tried doing that. Otherwise, I'll just point the camera at the screen and we'll have a play of it that way. All right, let's go do that now. Right, I have the Apple II set up with the trusty unit here. Booted it up using the iBooty, and this is the this is the um, hard disk image I've got in there. It's called Total Replay. It has a heap of really good games. Um, we're only going to be able to scratch the surface because I can only do so many game plays. Um, you can navigate quickly to a title just by putting a couple of um, letters in. So I put MO then and press press turn. So this is Moon Patrol. Now we want uh, joystick. Or speed, yeah, okay. Spacebar starts the game. I have played this before. Annoyingly, it doesn't use both buttons on the joystick. I suppose it's designed maybe to use with the pedals. You can't control anything just now. You've got to press up to jump, which can get annoying. It's actually not doing a too bad job. Probably shouldn't be playing off the capture either, but I need to work on my position of my monitor. So you can hear the um, Apple II slowing down when a few things hit on the screen, um, and it's trying to play sound through the speaker, of course. Oh, no. Crikey. Not made. Point C. No, I didn't mean to double check. Mm. At least we made it to point C. It's unfortunate because we need to push forward to keep on moving fast.
have to agree, the Apple II, seeing its age, is doing a brilliant job. I would love to have a colour crystal so I could see these games in colour too. But I will work on that. Oh yes, we made it. Come on. Okay. Might to at least make it to one base. E. Yes! Not bad. 60, average, 80, top record. You've broken the record. So it's a pretty decent version of the game, you know, Apple limitations aside. Two shot oh oh god two shots to get through some this must be for some reason well at least we made it past a point is it only gonna want to play one game on each game and that's a bit stupid No, it <laughs> gets a bit harder. Hope the sound's coming out alright. Alright, what I'll do, I've got to turn the apple to off. We need to count 10 because it takes a little while for the memory to discharge. Turning back on. Right, clean boot. Now, what else do we can we play? Hero. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I was of course supposed to shoot him. So the top button drops the bombs. Oops. Uh, I'm having some joystick getting into control problems here. Lazy way through because I've gone, oh, I've gone used up on my controls. <coughs> right, so it is pushing down. Oh, yes, I don't think my joystick's doing me any favours. Oh dear, I'm dead. All right. Let's try the next game. I hadn't just played that one before. It wasn't being agreeable with my joystick. Now, of course, we have to try one of my absolute favourites, which is Choplifter. This one uses both buttons very well. Very mean game though. Got him. if you don't lock their heads off with your own other top of bays. And the tanks really don't take long to come along. Make them run on way. Come on little dudes. Ugh, 
or not. Okay, let's go back. Well, at least I've got some better base. So the second button rotates your craft. Oh, you need to actually land on that. Run out and say thank you. Okay, now it gets a bit harder. Once you get jets, there was one there. And so obviously there was a bit of slowdown happening there, but um, it still plays pleasingly well. This guy shouldn't hit us, but it might kill some of the dudes. Oh, we're locking the reds off. Oh, we're, we're busy locking the heads off all of our rescuees. May stop lopping their heads off. Mm, not gonna fire. Look up the plane. Oh. And they got me, so they killed all the people I thought. <laughs> ah, dear. Alright, well, we won't. I think I'm actually doing sort of getting more. I've sort of got lots killed, but let's go and have a look at something else. Now, there are quite a few decent games on this collection. What else have we got here that looks familiar? Let's see if there's some sort of a Donkey Kong. One called Donkey Kong. This could be bad. We could buy a Tari Nintendo. Who knows? We're doing a loading. Could be a keys only one though, in which case. Oh no. We are joystick. Yep. The trouble with analog joysticks. And getting them calibrated. Okay, we can jump. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I suck at that one. Alright, that one actually might be better to play the keys. Now it does have one of my absolute favourites on here, Castle Wolfenstein, but that one does need keys in combination with the joystick, so I won't play that one. Um, Apple Galaxia, why not? Tony Suzuki. That looks pretty good.
too bad, you can get used to the drifting with the joystick. Obviously the um, number of enemies has been reduced. Oop. Oh. It definitely slows down when more of the action is happening. Intense. Once again, another one would be probably be very good to see what it's like in colour. That's a pretty cool version of Galaxia. Alright, we'll find another game to play. There are a lot of games on here, so I said I'm really only going to scratch the surface. Bizarre. Okay. It's be interesting to see how it Joystick. Did it echo speak there? speech or anything but oh yes there is no oh, it's definitely hard um, all right we'll do one more game then we better leave it for the session. Right, I'm going to try Load Runner because it's one of my favourite games cross system, and this is the very first system that I played it on. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go with joystick and whether you can dig both ways. Okay, recognise the joystick button, that's a good start. Yeah, so different, two different buttons doing um, hold to the right and left, which makes it uh, a lot easier to control. Um, helps if I don't play terribly, of course. And keep out a load on you have to allow time for the um, holes to dig. More strategy. Right, 
the last one. Ah. Now if they do, uh, if one closes over them, it kills them and they go back to their starting position on the screen. And sometimes you've got to actually kill some of them to get them to carry some of the blocks to you. Some of the later load runner levels can get, get diabolical. And where there's no bricks, you can't dig. Oh, my joystick moved. And that was probably the wrong way to go. I probably should go to the right. As I said, this is the original load runner. The very first time I played it would have been on an Apple II in the um, physics lab. So that was a bit silly. He'll die and go back to his original starting position. You've got to be careful of these solid sections, you can't dig. Oh, and there's fall through areas. last one. This joystick actually works quite well for this game. Alright, we'll just see what the level layout is for the, la for the next level, and then we probably should leave it at that. So, I will have a look at getting a colour crystal for my apple, um, and um, see if I can sort out a better situation of capturing sound. Hopefully the sound isn't too low. I said I've got my microphone down here pointing towards the apple and I'll have to turn the volume up so hopefully I'm not too loud in comparison. But we'll see how we go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just great getting the joystick for the Apple II. It makes it so much more useful and with the booty card that I got in recent times as well. So thank you to um, fellow press player on tape podcast member Aaron for pointing out the booty and um, I was able to get one. There is a firmware update for it that I haven't tried yet, but I'll do that soon. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.